Hey y'all, this is Tamika, the face behind HR, and I want to tell you guys the top three things that helped me start my HR career. If you want to know more about it, then definitely keep watching. So I'm going to go ahead and be real. Cause you know, I can go ahead and tell you, Oh, I got this degree. I got this certification. I worked here. I did that. No networking, networking. Number one, networking number one. And I'm going to do this in hierarchical order. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So number one, definitely networking. I did a video all about networking and I keep pushing that video to you guys because honestly, networking has been pivotal in my career. It helped me start my career and it's helped me grow my career. When I started my career, it was me telling my cousin all about how I want to work in HR. He was doing HR courses. as just like his additional courses to get his master's degree, but that was not his focus. And I truly wanted to start my career. And he was in a class with the HR director who needed an HR assistant. He really pitched her to me. She interviewed a slew of other people. Forget this. If y'all ain't heard my story before, then definitely dive in on this part. She offered the HR assistant position to three other people who were already totally qualified for this position. Two of them said no. One said yes. And then right before they were going to start, they said no. And then she called me. I was number four. That's how I started my career. She literally said to me, you have absolutely no experience. I would not have put you in this if it wasn't for your cousin. And she said, you really interviewed well. You just had nothing to give. Like I had no HR experience. I didn't know how to pivot myself as an HR professional. Networking helped me start my career and not only helped me start my career. It's helped me grow my career. It's grown my career by me attending SHRM meetings, by me attending SHRM conferences, by me being in professional groups on Facebook, by me being on LinkedIn. Y'all seriously network like for real. Y'all keep asking me, how do I start my career? How do I start my network? <laughs> Network. Get that resume right and network. Those are my two things. If you always want to ask me to me, how do I start my career? Network and get that resume right. Don't worry about a degree or a certification. Like you wasting time. You might be getting a degree or a certification or something you don't even like. Networking gonna tell you if you like it. Definitely going out there and diving into it. it's gonna help you learn. Networking was number one. My number two was knowing when to know and knowing when to learn. There were times that I would start, particularly in the beginning of my career, to start my career, because we're talking about the beginning, right? So the beginning of my career, I knew a lot of things, but I knew I didn't know HR and I was comfortable in that space of saying, I don't know and literally positioning myself so I can learn. And the more that my directors saw that I wanted to learn, multiple directors over the start of my career, they keep putting me in opportunities for me to learn. As an HR assistant, I was sitting in benefit negotiating meetings. As an HR specialist, I was going to the court to represent our company and workers' comp claims. I mean, I was taking FMLA claims as an HR specialist, like two, three years into my career, because I showed them that I was really serious. I really wanted to know. At that time, I was clear that I don't know. I want to learn. As I grew my career, yeah, there's a lot that I know, but when I'm starting in a new company with a new industry, a new location, a new setup, a new type of leadership, a new different type of org chart, different policies, different procedures, different employee handbook, that's a time when, yeah, I know HR, but this is still time for me to learn. And as you grow your career, you have to know when to know and when to learn. So many times we get excited that we know so much. One thing that solidified for me that it was time for me to just know, and this is my first time stepping out into my career. I was four years into my career, my third HR job, my first two jobs, I just learned nonstop and test and try and sample out different things. And then I went to this job where I was like, okay, I want to be an HR manager. I've been an HR assistant. I've been an HR specialist. And I, as an HR specialist, I functioned as a generalist. I'm ready to be a manager. They offered me a generalist position. The salary was way more than I was making. So I was like, okay, cool. But when I got there, I had no leadership in HR. I had no basics. I had no employee handbook. I had no policies. I had no systems. I had no procedures. And I literally took everything that I had learned those four years at those two companies. And I just started being confident in that. I know this, I know this people would ask me and I'd say, if I didn't know, I'd say, let me research this. I'll get back to you. If I knew offhand, I'm gonna let you know. No, all you have to do is this, 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 and this. You have to know when to know and when to learn. And at that company, it really was good to see me like exhale. Like I, I truly was like, particularly after I wrote the employee handbook, I was like, damn girl, you know, HR. <laughs> now 
Did that make me go to the next company and be like, okay, I know it all? No, it was still stuff I needed to learn. So make sure you already know that knowing what to know and knowing when to learn depends on so many factors. And that's going to help you pivot your career and start your career, launch it like crazy when somebody knows that you know when to be the expert and you know when to be the student. That is huge in starting my career, like huge. And the last thing, all non-tangibles. I'm sorry if you were looking for me to give you a quick turnaround and be like, okay, got the three things to start my career. But these are truly the things that helped me start my career. And the third thing is literally like just knowing to be patient, to show perseverance, to be tenacious, to really push hard. Like all of those things that you literally have to ingrain into your integrity, your morals, your values. I use those things to help me grow my career. I was transparent when I need to be transparent. I stepped out of things when I need to step out. I positioned myself in front of things when I needed to be there. People saw that and as a result, like I had people like would call me and say, Hey, I got this opportunity. I got that opportunity because I was strong enough to say, no, I don't feel comfortable having these people come in to start an organization and their I-9s are expired. Nope. After three days, they can no longer work here. I, I felt confident saying, nope, we can't keep letting employees go into negative in PTO. I'm going to create a policy so that we can stop this. Oh, we don't know if people are getting COBRA notices. Okay. Let me get my benefits broker and figure out how am I going to create this system so I can start having the system, know when to trigger out these COBRA notices or knowing when I need to go into the system to trigger it out. Literally people saw that I work with good integrity, that I was patient with knowing that there's some things I know and some things I don't, that I persevered through hard times, through difficult times. I've gotten rejections where I know I shouldn't have gotten inje- rejections when I'm working at a company. I've shared that with you guys already, but literally I had worked in this position for nine months in an interim role, never got paid for it. They went out and interviewed other people and brought in someone that totally was less qualified than I I was. That took a lot of perseverance on my side and it took a lot of me having value in myself to say, you know what? They don't deserve me. I've been here for four years and this is what they do to me. But again, it was just me being patient, knowing that I can't get upset that this company didn't give me the opportunity. I need to go to the company that's going to value me enough to give me that opportunity. I get so many people who are asking me like, this company said they're going to promise this to me. They're going to promise that to me. You promising me something and you already know me? Like why? You should just be doing it. If you have to promise me something, then I ain't got no guarantee you're going to do it. And most times they don't, y'all. Most times they don't. While they promise and go on out there and take the company that's just going to give it to you. Like, we're in a different time now. We're not married to these companies. We're dating them. Just like they're dating us, we're dating them. I just hate to say it that way, but it is what it is. So I want you guys to know that I really have a blog. That I have multiple blogs that can tell you how to grow your career. It goes through each different level of the human resources career. So definitely go to my blogs at HR.com because it goes into a whole lot of that. If you suck in all that information or you like to make, I don't catch every blog, girl you late, then guess what? I have something new. So I have career mentoring options where I can mentor you through your career, help you grow your career, help you identify how to start, what works best for you. The way to start your career is not the same for everybody. There are some people that can use their skills and push on through and start their HR career. There are some people that really just need just that resume cleaned up. There are some people that can do a little pivot. There are some people that I can say, hey, create these metrics and then start pivoting yourself. It's just totally dependent on you, your skills, your tenacity. What are you willing to do? What are you not willing to do? What are some triggers for you that you absolutely don't want to touch again? What are some things that you absolutely love? And so I work through those things in career mentoring. So go to HR.com and the work with me section, and you can definitely sign up for career mentoring by me. So we're going to sit on a call. You're going to fill out a really long intake form and we're going to dive in. And so get ready, get your paper and your pen ready, whatever notes you need to do, because we're going to make sure to get this career where it should be. For those of you who have found HR for the first time, I hope that you found enough value to to subscribe. For those of you who are here, you've been here, you've been riding with your girl for a while, please hit the like button for me. Like seriously, y'all be forgetting that and I need y'all to remember. Hit the like button. That really helps. Now, you're going to really be the GOAT if you leave me a comment. You can just leave me some purple hearts. That'll work for me too. You don't even have to say anything amazing. <laughs> if you like to speak, I have nothing to say. Give me a purple heart. So I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate every single time you dive into a video and watch it. And I hope that I'm giving to you what you're looking for. If I am not, then definitely let me know. If I am, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for watching another HR video. I cannot wait to see y'all on the next video.